Hey there guys, I am so excited to be doing another unboxing video for you. I just thought there was something really special about the whole, the act, the art of unboxing. It's exciting. It's exciting to receive something in the mail and then not know what it is and have that moment of just tearing it open and figuring it out, I guess. So I do have a package that I received. Um, don't know what it is yet. Um, like I said, it's it's always exciting because the mystery of the mail. They're in these unmarked boxes. You receive them, you open them, and you think, oh, what did I get? And that's kind of the joy I want to share with all of you today. So let me just go ahead and start. My nails aren't as, as, as long as they usually are, so it might take me a second. Now that's the, the good thing about unboxing as well, is you get to experience the joys of packaging materials like plastic. Plastic gets a bad rap. And it is a wrap. <laughs> it's a type of wrap. You know, a lot of people think plastic is bad for the environment. I want to say also, I wouldn't usually condone opening something with your mouth like that. Um, but since it is, you know, COVID is going around, I feel like people are sanitizing things extra. So I, this feels pretty safe. Uh, but usually, I'd say use something else. Don't just put strange things in your mouth. Once again, we know everyone's being clean at the post office right now because... This was sent in February and it's March, so they must have been doing the high pressure wash. <laughs> Took some time. All right, we got it open. And it is a wisdom panel. Uh, it's, a, it's a dog test. It's a, a test for dogs. Exams for dogs is something that you're kind of seeing getting phased out in the year 2021, which I don't understand. I know people argue that standardized testing isn't really a fair caliber, a, a fair way to, to judge um, the caliber of someone's knowledge. Um, but these are dogs, so uh, I think I think they'll be okay. This is the world's leading canine DNA test. Uh, so uh, watch out. Its bark is as, as big as its bite. I do wish in times like these that I had a dog. Uh, maybe we'll find one later. We'll, we'll, we'll do the test. Seems pretty easy here. It says collect your dog's DNA activate online, mail test, receive report. It's like homework, but it's fun. Uh, it says here, co cover dog, Walter. Oh, the he's a cover dog. Yes, he is. Uh, cover dog, Walter, was tested, and the breeds detected were Border Collie, Australian Cattle Dog, and Collie. Wonderful. Just a really fun way to, to kind of pigeonhole your dog, put him in a box, uh, buy this box, then put your dog in it, <laughs> and um, just, just something fun to like bond you and the dog. Um, you know, dogs are such wonderful creatures because they really, they really know how to, um, they really know how to, to just exist and they don't need mail or packages or DNA tests, but I think it's wonderful that we're giving them the option. So we have this here and this is, these look like mascara brushes. So this is probably just, um, once you get the results, I'd imagine, depending on how your dog is feeling, if they're a little down, you want to give them a little makeover, something to just cheer them up. Find your sample ID here. Got a little ID number here so that we can go ahead and tag and bag that dog when the time comes. Uh, go online, peel back the swab, obtain a cheek cell, let the swab air dry. Once the swabs are dry, insert them, and then you place the sleeve and the swabs in the carton, and that's it. I guess the next step um, for something like this is uh, let's go find a dog. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, so I found a dog. Uh, she just bit the camera. I'm here with Spot and she's very excited to get her DNA tested. Are you ready, Spot? Wow. She can't believe it. The first thing that we have to do is apply these mascara brushes in between um, your gums and your cheeks. I have to open these uh, two inches, it says. It's just harder to do with one hand. Oh, here's a peel open at arrow. It's so important to read instructions because so often you just find yourself like clawing away at things without really understanding like how it works. Only supposed to peel back two inches, um, which I did. I measured this beforehand. Um, it doesn't look like this was well thought out, but it, this is exactly two inches. Take one of the swabs out here. Okay. Oh, it's blowing. So, do you want to hear? Okay. Oh, 
Okay, are you ready, Spot? I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in your mouth. I bet you that you're gonna really enjoy it. Oh, I know, I know. Yeah, oh, you like it. Yes, can you open wide? Oh, thank you. The important thing when you're uh, testing a dog's DNA is to stay calm because the dog is gonna freak, freak out. It's weird to have your DNA tested as a dog. So how long have you been a dog? Oh really? Yeah, I have family in Ohio. Open. Open like this. No kidding. Oh, but open your mouth. Open your mouth like this. Not, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, okay. It's harder if your dog is bearded um, to get the bristle through the, the hairs I'm noticing. Oh, it's okay. Oh yes, I know. This is not the way to freedom. Is there a time limit on it? Give me these sweet cheeks. I need your cheek cells for science. Okay? Just stay calm, it's for science. This is science. It's for 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 science. Great, so uh, that was uh, one down and we just have one more swab to go. So Spot and I just uh, finished doing her second swab. Isn't that right, Spot? Spot? Hey, Spot. Yeah, and uh, we just had the best time. Got both of these swabs um, air drying to see uh, if Spot is a cover dog like Walter or uh, just uh, some mutt. I feel closer to her than I did before this, uh, hands down. And that's not just because I didn't know this dog before we did this. I just feel like I, I have a real sense of who she is as a person. Or, uh, well, as a dog, she's not a person. Oh, these are the swabs. Now you can't see this, um, but it, her DNA is on this. And that's remarkable to me. DNA is not visible to the human eye. And I did not know that until this experience. So if you've been going around thinking you can see DNA this whole time, do the wisdom panel test on a dog, uh, just if for no other reason than to see that that's not the case, that you can't see DNA. Slide these back in to the pouch. Bristles first, as you can see there. I'm not going to reseal the envelope because they they specified that I, I don't reseal it. And also I couldn't if I wanted to because I, I, uh, I nod into that thing like a beaver. We put this back in the carton and we mail this back to the wisdom panel people or dogs. I don't know who's conducting the DNA test. Is it a dog run facility? Uh, I don't know. Spot, do you know anything about that? She knows next to nothing. I. I worry that she's not going to do well on the test and that that's going to affect her self-esteem. Yeah, I don't... I'm starting to feel like she's not as invested in it as I am. Like, she doesn't care as much. Uh, what do you think you're going to get on the test? <laughs> not a B. <laughs> she said a B. <laughs> uh, probably a dog. I'm guessing dog and maybe a little bit um, badger. This is Spot, she's a dog, at least we think she is. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and mail back this wisdom panel test and find out.